Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. In this video, I'm going to be featuring a new asset that I've created that will be available for free on our website. And this asset is a bad word filter. Now I first created and implemented this asset into my Snake Cube game, but it's something that I'd like to implement into pretty much all of my games. And so I've been able to implement it into this new game that my brother and I have been working on. And so let me go ahead and demonstrate how this bad word filter works. So I'm going to click play in the editor and here in my game you can see that I have just a basic main menu and there's an input field for the players to input their name. Now to keep this video family friendly I won't be typing any actual bad words and I haven't added any actual bad words to the filter. Instead I've just added the words butt, fart, and poop. And so now when I click in the input field and I try typing one of these words that I've added to my bad word filter, you'll notice that as soon as I type the last letter of the word, that word is instantly removed from the input field. Now this bad word filter also works even if there's other letters out in front of the word that you want to have removed. And so if I just type some random letters, and then I type one of the words that I've added to my filter, let's say poop, you can see that just the poop part has been removed. Now this is a good feature to implement into your game for things like name input fields and also text chats. And this is because when I click play now, the name that I've typed into the input field will be displayed to everyone. And so having this feature on things like name input fields and text chats will force everyone playing your game to use appropriate language in order to protect the younger kids that might be playing your game as well. So now that I've shown you what this asset does, let me show you how it works. If I'm going to go to my bad words filter script. All right, so first off, I'm implementing the namespaces using Unity Engine and using unityengine.ui. Next, I have three variables. The first is an input field, which I've called infield text. The next is a string called my string, And the last is a serialized field, which is a string array called bad words. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm initializing my input field variable. And so I have infield text equals get component, and I'm looking for input field because we're going to attach this script to our input field game object. The next thing that I needed to do was create a public void function, which I've called change string, and it needed a parameter of type string, which I've called string in. This is going to be the function that we paired to the on value change function of our input field. Inside this function, I needed to set the my string variable equal to the parameter string in. And then I'm calling a new function, which I've called bad word parser. I'm then creating that function right here. This is a void function. And inside this function, the first thing that I needed to do was for loop through the length of our bad words array. Then inside this for loop, I need to check to see if the current bad word is contained inside the my string variable. And to do this, we first need to make sure that the my string variable is in all lowercase. And so I'm calling the to lower function, which is a part of the string data type. We then need to call the contains function, which will search our my string variable for the string parameter that we pass in. And so I'm passing in the current bad word. If this if statement is true, it means that the string contains the bad word. And so we then want to remove that word from our string. And so the next thing that we need to do is for loop through each character of our my string variable. And inside this for loop, we need to check to see if the current character of our my string variable matches the first character of our current bad word. If it does, then we want to save a substring of our my string variable starting at the current character and going the length of the bad word. We then need to do one more check to see if our temp string equals the bad word. If it does, then we want to remove that substring from our my string variable, starting at the current character and going the length of the bad word. And finally, we want to make sure that our my string variable does not equal null. And if it does not equal null, then we want to set the text of our input field to our my string variable. If it does equal null, then we're just going to set it to an empty string. And finally, we'll then return. And so that's all the code that we're using for this bad word filter. And so let's go back to Unity and I'll show you how to implement it. 
And so inside Unity, we need to have an input field game object, which I have right here. We then need to make sure that we attach our bad word filter script to this game object. Then we need to populate our bad words array with all the bad words that we want to have filtered out of our string. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to add the bad word filter array script to the on value change function of the input field component. We then want to select the drop down menu and go down to our bad word filter class. And then up in the dynamic string section, we want to select the change string function. And once you've done all that, you should have a bad word filter for your input fields. So that's everything that I'm going to cover in this lesson on how to create a bad word filter. Now you can download the code for this lesson from our website at infogamerhub.com. I'll leave a link to the code in the description below. Now make sure that you like this video and share it with your friends. Leave any questions you have in the comments below and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.